Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is. What's the dumbest mistake you've seen an incompetent co-worker make? My co-worker at the bowling alley had to walk down a lane where a group of very young children, maybe 4 to 8 years old, were bowling to retrieve a ball that had stopped in the gutter about halfway down to the pins. When he had picked up the ball my other co-worker told him to go walk it back down to the children. However this guy had it in his mind that it would be best to bowl it back down at the group of small children instead. Luckily one of the adults with the children was a big muscular guy who was able to stop the ball and pick it up without anybody getting hurt. New guy was dragging two 8,000 pounds rolls of paper through the warehouse. This is against the rules for good reason, anyway, he drove through a door designed for one roll, and drug the top roll through the wall. Poured sink cleaning solution into the ice cream machine instead of the cream mixture and I had to stop them, they then said I'm sure it'll be fine, it was only a little. No that would poison people. I had to clean out the whole machine top to bottom and refill it. I ended up throwing away nearly a whole bucket full of contaminated ice cream mixture. I would also like to add that the containers didn't look anything alike, the sink stuff came in big plastic jugs with screw tops and the ice cream comes in cardboard cartons, like orange juice, that you have to cut open. So I don't know how she could have possibly mixed the two up. My wife worked at a gas station and found out her co-worker, who had been there for years, had been refilling the napkin dispenser by cramming them one at a time through the front slot. She walked up and unfastened the back and apparently his jaw hit the floor. He had never considered that there might be a better way to do this. Was making pizza. Guy broke the pizza board, the thing with the handle you make the pizza on and then slide the pizza into the oven. I found the other one and he lost that. So I told him to make pizzas on one of the plastic cutting boards. He put the pizza into the oven on the board and just left it. The board melted no more pizza that day. Putting all the patient's false teeth in a bowl together to soak on a dementia ward. Took us weeks to try and match patient to teeth, no, they weren't marked up with the patient's names. Doubt the right teeth ended up with the right patient, it was guesswork. Working in pharmacy, a pharmacist gave a customer a flu shot and threw the used syringe in the container with the new syringes instead of the container to dispose them. Another pharmacist went to grab a new syringe later on and ended up getting stabbed with the used syringe. Caused a total shit storm. The office we worked in was shut down due to COVID and the company went 100% remote. A new senior engineer was hired to work directly with our product team and also manage a team of developers. During our company-wide weekly Zoom meeting after he was done presenting for the company he turned his camera off but forgot to put himself on mute. 100 plus people heard this man playing Fortnite and talking down about the company to someone else in the background among other things. He only lasted a month. Shut down a critical file server, then lied about it, even after he was presented with the logs that showed it was his user account that initiated the shutdown. It's not so much the mistake that he made, but it was when he lied about making the mistake, that was a rookie move. When I was in the Navy, this known dumbass and pathological liar was on armed watch with an M14 patrolling the topside decks. Literally all you have to do is walk around for 4 hours with a rifle on your shoulder. This dude came back to the quarter deck, main entrance to the ship, with no gun. He tried to claim it fell off his shoulder and into the water while tying his shoe. How a rifle would fall off your shoulder, pass through your hands that were tying the shoe. And through all three lifelines, like guard rails, is still a mystery. My theory is that he was doing drill team stuff, like tossing it spinning in the air, and lost it that way. Worked in a machine shop. One of the lathe operators left the bar of cold rolled steel he was turning hanging out the back. When he turned the machine on. 
it literally deformed and turned into a, a freaking helicopter blade ripped the back of the machine apart, and eventually flew off at high speed. Luckily no one got hit by it. If so, they'd be dead. I work maintenance at a grocery store for context. My boss at the time was very inept when it came to technology. He hated technology with a passion. I understand everyone should know how to use a mop if you are in this line of work but when you have machines that make it easier, I see no issues in using one. So anyways, my boss couldn't figure out how to use one of our machines, the Tasky, and hated it with a passion even though it's one of the easiest things to use. He couldn't figure out why water wasn't coming out to clean up a sticky floor. All he'd have to do was press the little button that has a water spout on it which means water will come out if pushed. Instead of asking me or trying to use his brain. He proceeded to kick the shit out of it and destroyed the water tank and then couldn't understand why water was leaking from it after and then proceeded to call it a piece of fucking shit and said this would have been better if we just used a fucking mop. I have so many stories about him but that's one of my favorites. Dude's fucking wild. I worked as a radiation protection tech at a power plant that was refueling. My job was to sit outside of a contaminated area and if anyone wanted to take something out of the area, tools, etc. I had to make sure it didn't have any radioactive particles on it. To do this you wipe the tool with something like a tissue and then hold the tissue up to a machine called a frisker. If the needle on the frisker goes above a threshold then the tool has to be cleaned or left in the area. One day I come back to relieve a guy who had been sitting outside the area for two hour. He tells me there's been no issues and everything has cleared. I look at the frisker, lean over and turn the machine on. A new veterinary technician did a dog anal gland expression with her face directly behind the dog butt, and got sprayed in the face. She threw up and had to go home early. I used to work as a pharmacy tech. Most antibiotics for kids come as powder in a bottle. We add distilled water to make it liquid upon receiving prescriptions, as the solution only remains stable for 10 to 14 days, depending. One day, a father drops an amoxicillin prescription for a child. Usual questions are asked, age, weight, allergies, type of infection, desired flavor. Product is prepared and given to the father. He leaves. Two hours later he comes back. Says the medication smells funny. I think the medicate the original anti-bio bottle smelled like straight up alcohol. In a lab, we keep multiple solvents, for many use. Water, simple syrup, mineral oil, ethanol. One of the techs added ethanol to the antibiotic instead of water. And we were all flabbergasted as how the mistake could have occurred because all the solvents are, 1, of different size, 2, of different label color and, 3, identified in huge letters. We identified the tech guilty of that mistake and they couldn't even say how that error occurred. I worked in a paint shop and every time a new chemical was introduced to the shop, I would ask about the hazards. They would tell me that it is a green chemical, there are no hazards. It's baby safe they would say. Once when I entered the shop I saw a guy using a new spray. The side of the bucket indicated that it was dangerously poisonous and highly corrosive. I told him that he should be using a mask and gloves to use that chemical. He said don't worry, it's baby safe. They even have a picture of a baby playing in it. Sure enough it did. After seeing the image, I yelled at the guy this is the baby. He is not playing, he is not swimming, he's dying. I have a list a mile long of the shit our completely incompetent project manager did, but the best was insisting that a $3,000 load of fertilizer still absolutely had to be delivered as previously scheduled despite the company warning against it as we were expecting heavy rains that day. The entire pile was washed away within a couple of hours. When I was in the Coast Guard, 
there was an incident when a vessel called in what they thought was another vessel in distress, but couldn't be sure and couldn't raise them on VHF. The watch commander kept refusing to launch the rescue boat until he had more details. Like, dude, this far north the life expectancy of a person in the water without a survival suit is measured in single digits of minutes. We can get more details when the boat is en route, the exact position of a bunch of floating corpses is of limited value. After three or four minutes I just said fuck it and launched the boat. It turned out the suspected casualties radio was banjaxed, but they were otherwise fine, their boat just had a very low freeboard and looked a bit sinky. I fully expected to be shit canned for it, but I was not, the old man had a long conversation with the guy about how nobody will ever find fault with sending an asset to a possible false alarm. But failing to send an asset to a real emergency is, well, it's not good. The dude had previous before I joined for shrugging off a red flare report as a hoax. Two people died in that one. A guy was using the overhead crane in a machine shop I worked in. It had two hooks on it, one was raised right to the roof, the other was lowered and beside another guy's machine. The guy using the crane was looking at the hook by the roof and mobilized the crane. He was wearing earmuffs and the shop is loud AF so when he started almost killing everyone in the line of machines with the other hook he couldn't hear the rest of us screaming. The hook almost threw the first guy into his lathe, hit the next guy's tool board. Flipped over to the side he was on almost put him into his lathe, rinse and repeat for the next three machines. When it bounced over the last one it grabbed the A-frame that held all the bar stock and started lifting 30-40T of steel off the ground someone finally made it to him and slapped the controls out of his hands. That was his last day at that job. I did landscaping and janitorial work with a 60-year-old toothless Serbian man who hardly knew English and was a refugee from the Civil War. The owners of the company took pity on this guy since he was a bit of a sad sack and was trying to provide for his family, but he'd constantly do really stupid and odd things. For starters, one of the other groundskeepers put up one of those fake owls on top of one of the buildings. The guy, let's call Bozo, thought it was real for the longest time, and thought it cursed the place. I tried explaining that it wasn't, but he kept wincing about it whenever we saw it. One day, I noticed shards of the owl all over the property, and our boss reprimanding him about bringing a hunting rifle to work. Another situation was when we were using this ride scrubber to clean the factory floor. If you forgot to clean out the dirt every so often, it just accumulated all and pushed the dirt around, making nasty, dirty tracks around the floor. Well, as you can guess, Bozo was the kind of person to never clean out the scrubber, no matter how long he ran it. While I was lawn mowing, he was doing that, and turned a somewhat dusty floor into a pile of sludge. One of the owners noticed on the security cameras and ran out of their office to him, stomping and yelling at him, stating, if this isn't cleaned up by tomorrow, don't even think about coming in. Last story. The other owner's wife felt pity on the guy, so she wanted to do something charitable for him. She was cleaning out the owner's closet of clothes, and figured to donate some of his old blazers and suits for Bozo, so he'd look good at church and at events. Bozo instead started wearing the suits and blazers while he was working, remember, as a janitor and landscaper. I walked in one day and noticed Bozo on a riding mower in an old tweed blazer. The owner came up to me and was like, Tilda. I think that's my old blazer. He still works there, as far as I remember. I worked for a non-profit that hired a guy in fundraising purely for his Rolodex and they couldn't care less about any of his job functions as long as he kept bringing more rich people to fundraiser parties. Well when the pandemic hit and we were forced to go remote, it became clear how incompetent he was with technology, and how he'd been coasting for years in the office by sticking to phone calls instead of email, etc. 
We had our first major online fundraiser coming up and I warned my boss that this dude had no idea how Zoom worked. Never muted himself, camera up the nose, treated it like watching a YouTube video. But again, he was the guy inviting all the rich people to the event, so they didn't want to lecture him about a computer program and hurt his ego. Then in our massive 200 plus person Zoom event, he set his laptop on the bathroom counter and proceeded to take a shirtless, nasty old man dump complete with grunting, splashing, and squelching. It was so loud it drowned out the speaker. They had to end the event early because they had no way to mute him and it kept going for a full two minutes with no sign of stopping. I nearly threw my laptop out a window that night. One volunteer had no computer experience. We showed her step by step how to do her job. She didn't know what a mouse was, how to click on something, etc. We got her up and running. She was pleased with herself, at having gotten the hang of using a PC. Fast forward two hours. Come back to the office and she's in tears I swear I didn't do anything. There were just fish everywhere all of a sudden. Look at the computer. Aquarium screensaver. After her little breakdown, she had to take the rest of the afternoon off. I was doing a tile repair in the lobby of a Taco Bell. Had to build it up on a heavy layer of thinset. Had my son's buddy helping me. Super nice kid but not the brightest. So we get the whole thing laid down and level, about 10 tiles, 12 x 12 inches, 2 rows wide. I say to him, ok whatever you do, don't step on it. He says ok boss, stands up and steps directly on it. Had to pull it all up and redo it. New temp to hire admin, she was supposed to order lunch for a big meeting. They told her where to order from and how many omnivores, vegetarians, and vegans. She showed me the order she was going to place, and I corrected her. Pointing out she didn't have any vegan food or enough vegetarian. She told me I was wrong and ordered anyway, even with me screeching at her not to do it and explaining what was wrong. Omnivores got beef. Vegetarians got chicken. It's not meat. Vegans got salads with egg and cheese. But it has vegetables. She was not hired on full time. I knew a dude that printed almost a thousand pages of counterfeit dollar bills for a joke or prank. The boss walked in immediately after and wound up behind the back area of the business throwing it all into the burn barrel getting rid of it. Dude didn't last much longer than that. This was in school but it's so incompetent I want to put it here. It's a fairly recognizable story from my school I hope someone finds it. This kid tried to use the teacher's computer to find the answers to our next test. He did it while she was teaching. Science class, so there was a separate room attached where she stored materials and her laptop. So he's in the room and she's lecturing to the class. Turns out the computer was connected to the projector display. We're all watching on the projector, along with the teacher what this genius is doing. Man was in her directory folder typing in test. Had a temp that was difficult to train. She didn't have a login so had to use mine, including my email, for comms, which she used to bitch about me to a colleague sitting right next to me, cause I had to tell for 100th time how to do something. How did she not realize I would see those emails? PT with late stage Alzheimer's had been progressively getting sicker. Used to be a walker slash wanderer, eventually just got a bit sicker each day and bedbound. Everyone kept giving his meds like normal. Ate less, tummy became distended. He was found unresponsive in his bed, apparently vomited, and died. The nurse's aides were in charge of cleaning him up. One went to clean the strange vomit that came out of his nose. She wiped it with her, gloved, hands. It was shit. He had shit coming out of his nose. 
he apparently had a bowel obstruction and it got so bad to the point that everything backed up and he was vomiting up his own undigested food and fecal matter. A simple monitoring of his distended stomach would have revealed that. A simple charting of his last bowel movement would have revealed that. Nobody could find when his last bowel movement was. And the charting that should have been done apparently hadn't been done in months. It could have been caught. He didn't have to die that way. All those little negligent mistakes eventually lead up to one gigantic mistake. This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.